Patches and happy Wednesday. Well, gang, that time has arrived. That's right. Next Monday, October 26th, we will be arriving back here in person to school on an AABB schedule. So today, I would like to just share out with all of you some updates and information to prepare us for that big reopening of caches. For starters, like I mentioned, we will be arriving back on an AABB schedule. That means those students by alphabet, uh, A to K and L to Z, will be here depending on what part of the alphabet you um, are in. So on Monday and Tuesday, we'll do our AA, which is for the A to K group. And then on Thursday and Friday is our L to Z group. On Wednesdays, it will be more of an independent day for you as students who will be assigned work to still complete and still be able to work with your teachers like you have been in the past uh, few weeks for any type of support and instructional needs. However, it will be a huge change for all of us because prior to this, we've only been doing like four lessons a day and now we'll be going back to our full seven period day. So students will be expected to log in beginning at eight if you are virtual and actually attend all of your classes. Um, this is going to be big because attendance will be, taking, be, will be taken each period and students will be expected to be there. Now, your teachers will provide you more input by period, uh, depending on what type of work you're going to be completing in class. But again, uh, students, you will be expected to log in. Those of you who are here in person on our AABB schedule, you will be expected to be here with your Chromebooks charged, ready to go, sitting in class, and continuing through your instruction like we have been for the first few weeks. Um, so those are the things that you need to know as you prepare to, to log in on Monday, October 26th. Like I mentioned, on Wednesdays, it will be more of an independent um, work for you, and, it'll, and we'll still have clubs and activities and so forth, but slight changes and modifications possibly in that schedule. So stay tuned when you uh, arrive back here on the 26th for more further updates. One thing I want to mention, though, is students who may be either have a study hall, could be doing co-op, or, of course, going early to college, there will be periods that you won't have to log in, obviously, because you are non-attending during those times. Study hall, um, as long as you're util utilizing that time wisely, we're not going to be asking you to really uh, log in from home, but of course students who are here in person will be meeting up with our study hall teachers in the certain areas that are designated for those times. When you do arrive to school, it's, re uh, it's going to be expected of you that you are wearing a face covering. Now face coverings could be those shields that I see some people wearing, or obviously just a face mask. Um, but we are expecting you, as soon as you arrive on Chambersburg Area School District property, that would be waiting for the school bus to actually uh, board the bus. That could be dr uh, stopping here as a student driver being dropped off or you know, by your parents or, again, um, driving yourself and parking in one of our student parking lots. You are expected that once you uh, exit your car, exit your parents' car if they're dropping you off, that you have your face covering on um, and you wear it throughout the day. Again, no exceptions. It's expected. We all need to do our job and to protect not only ourselves but others as we come back to school. Um, when you do arrive on Monday, you are expected to go straight to homeroom on Monday. And those students who will be here on, on BB Day will be expected to go to your homeroom on Thursday. We're going to start Monday and Thursday out with an extended homeroom. Um, this is so we can provide you information such as um, safety procedures throughout the school day, also handbooks, for those of you who will be um, utilizing them throughout your workday here, obviously those students who are virtual won't get a handbook until later, but for now handbooks will be given to those students who are here. And then other items, um, and, and, et cetera. So make sure that you go to your, straight to your homeroom when you arrive either on Monday or Thursday of next week. Now, if you are eating breakfast or planning to eat breakfast, you need to go uh, directly to the cafeteria where you'll eat your breakfast there. And then we, of course, will uh, dismiss you and you will go on to um, go to your homeroom before 8 o'clock that morning. Also keep in mind, um, one thing that you need to know is there will be safety procedures in, in place. And one of the first things you'll notice when you arrive here to school um, is that there are hallway, or excuse me, stairwells that are one way only. They have been designated and marked. Um, so, for instance, students who come in right off the bus, as soon as you come enter the cafeteria, 
the one stairwell that's closest to you to go right to the second or third floor would be the one right around the corner to the left as soon as you enter the cafeteria. Students who arrive and either are driving or um, being dropped off, you'll come right in the main lobby area and you'll be able to walk right up the steps uh, nearest the library area and go up. Um, and there's also that stairwell that goes down by uh, Mr. Barrier's room and um, the art rooms. It'll be up and down both ways because it has a bar between it that separates everyone. So you'll get, to, you'll get used to this. Um, and before you know it, by the end of the first day probably, no issues and nothing of concern. So let's all work together to abide by these safety precautions and rules. In regards to bathrooms, yes, bathrooms will be available throughout the day. That would be a terrible thing to, for us to make you uh, wait until you go home. But keeping in mind, bathrooms should be used, uh, shouldn't be used frequently unless needed. Um, we, we're going to expect that students go to their classrooms, one person out of the classroom at a time. There's going to be a sign-out sheet. This will uh, ensure that we're all safe and it will help us for, with sanitation and so forth. We've also installed, for your use, hand washing stations. That way, um, instead of you having to go into the bathroom to wash your hands, instead you can just use these hand washing stations throughout the building um, in the hallways. So that way you can wash your hands periodically throughout the day and as needed. Um, let's use these wisely. Uh, just, I hate to even say this, but guys, we are in the high school now. You know, you're, you're individuals who are 14, age 14 to maybe 19 years of age. There's no reason for horseplay around these these uh, hand washing stations and I hope that I don't have to speak to anybody about that. Um, also, we have installed water bottle filling stations. So for those of you who really feel the need to stay hydrated throughout the day, this is what we're asking of you. You may bring your own water bottle with you to school. Um, I would ask that you label that water bottle so that way we know whose it is because if we find water bottles laying around the building, we're not going to seek out those people. We're going to throw them away for safety reasons. So please, if you are bringing a water bottle from home, make sure it's labeled. And with these water bottles, uh, we do ask that you have them filled with water when you come into the building. But um, throughout the day, there will be hand, or excuse me, there will be water bottle filling stations that you can refill your water bottles. We're not asking people to share these water bottles. These are your water bottles. We don't want sharing because obviously that assists with spreading of this virus. So, guys, again, this is something we are affording you the opportunity to utilize. Let's not uh, break the rules and have us maybe rethink uh, this opportunity. With water, um, obviously, there's food, typically, and um, but not this year. We're asking no food from the outside should be brought to school, again, to uh, decrease the amount of spread of the virus. The only time you should be eating food is in our cafeteria, unless you've been given special um, opportunities to not eat in the cafeteria, but that would be very minimal. So again, students, the only time you should be eating is in our cafeteria, and that would include breakfast as well as lunch. When you are in the cafeteria eating, and that's only when you're eating, you may take down your mask or face covering, obviously, because it's difficult to eat through those masks and those face coverings. But once you're finished eating, and that means completely finished, mask should go back on, face covering should go back over your face, because we, again, need to make sure that no one is spreading this virus. Um, also, you will see once you attend the cafeteria during these uh, times to eat, there are only three uh, chairs per table. We're going to continue to keep three chairs per table. Don't be sh moving chairs around. So for those of you who are really concerned about this, you need to start thinking, how am I going to uh, understand this? How am I going to choose who sits with me? Three people. That's it, guys. No more than three. So if it's just you and your girlfriend or you and your best friend, that's how it is. Maybe there's only two, but three per table only. Also, when you return on Monday and Thursday of next week, make sure, like I said already, your Chromebooks are charged and ready to go. But at the same time, understand that if you are in grades 10 through 12, we will be following a special schedule to provide you a brand new Chromebook. So again, grades 10 through 12 will receive a brand new Chromebook on those days that they are live in person on the AABB schedule. 
So that means when you come back, make sure you have your power cord with you, make sure you have your Chromebook ready to go, and if you have your student ID from the past, bring it with you. That will assist us greatly in checking in and checking out with the new Chromebook distribution. Those students who are viewing this and aren't returning AABB and you're staying virtual or you're possibly cave, those students will too also get a brand new Chromebook. So, on Wednesday of next week, I believe it's the 28th, you, we will have a special uh, opportunity for you to drive up to our back side of our school here near the cafeteria uh, back entrance and from 9 o'clock until 2 p.m. you will be able to receive your brand new Chromebook. Um, again, by turning in your older Chromebook with the power cord and all those items. So that information was shared out with you in our uh, most recent newsletter last Friday, as well as it is posted on our um, Cassius website. So check it out, guys, and you'll know what's going on. Before I get into uh, any of the athletic shout-outs or anything of that nature, there's one thing that I have to share with you all, and that is this is essentially the last week of the marking period. It's hard to believe the first marking period is almost to a close. So what does that mean for you? You better check your grades. You need to check with your teachers. If you have things that are outstanding that you have not completed yet, guys, now's the time to get that work completed because second marking period begins next week and then it's too late. So it may already be too late, but I'm just giving you that warning. Grades will, uh, be, will be submitted to our the report cards at the end of this week and it is what it is so don't don't say I didn't warn you and now for a few shout outs first of all way to go football this past Friday night you could you defeated Central Dolphin East here at home way to go it was it was a super spectacular win and we appreciate that and I know you do as well because it was our first win of the season but it's okay we have I think four more games to go and this uh, coming Friday, we will defeat, that's right, already planning for it, we will defeat Cumberland Valley at their own home, and this should be the third year in a row. So we, can, we got this, guys. Just bring your game faces. I'll be there, as well as many other people to support you. Boys and girls soccer, this past week, defeated um, Cedarcliff in some outstanding games. I heard our own, very own Mr. Barrier shouting out great things that were happening here at home by the girls. Way to go. It was, it was awesome to watch you, and it was great to hear again of your successes. So keep up the great work, boys and girls soccer. Friday night, the band was here, and so were the cheerleaders. Yes, the cheerleaders may have been masked, but boy, could we still hear them. So way to go, gang, and we appreciate all your support, as always, for our athletics. And just wrapping up today, just want to give a huge uh, shout out and good luck to all those uh, athletes who are continuing with postseason play. Um, bring, bring us home some medals and bring us home some awards. But most of all, let's enjoy our experiences because we all have been very fortunate so far athletically to be able to compete this fall. So with that, as you can see, I have a lot of individuals maybe around me. Let's maybe wake up the dead here, guys. And, and I appreciate you having my back because I see a lot of ghosts, goblins, who knows what's behind me. So with that, let's get excited. Let's make this place shake. On three, one, two, and three, go Trojans! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.